Hello, everyone. And today we are going to be talking about the Cat Who series by Lillian Jackson Braun. There are 29 books in total. And the first one is The Cat Who Could Read Backwards. These are a cozy mystery series. So they are mysteries that happen with no sex, no violence, or very minimal violence, no graphic details. Okay. No graphic details, no language. They usually have a more relaxed pace and just kind of follow the character around in their lives as they haphazardly investigate. It's not it's not like a hard-boiled detective series. So this series follows Jim Quillerin, who is a newspaper journalist who follows the uh, works on the like cop beat, basically. He starts out the series in Chicago and eventually moves to a super small town in a not specifically disclosed state, but it's in the very northern part of the country. And it's full of eccentric people. <laughs> the, the books are, the pacing is full of dialogue. It's all about the characters. And the pacing of these is really relaxed. It's more leisurely. It follows... Jim Quillerin, he just call, he just goes by Quillerin in the books. He follows Quillerin around as he investigates these mysteries and <clears throat> meets lots of super interesting people. The books are full of dialogue. It's all about, like I said, it's all about him interacting with these other people and getting to know them. And that's usually how he ends up solving the mystery is through some conversation he had with somebody or whatever. Also, there is a psychic cat. <laughs> he has a cat that psychically can sense things and communicates with him in various different ways by pushing things off of countertops at the right moment or whatever. And it's different in every book, the way the cat interacts with him or what the cat's picking up. But that's why it's the Cat Who series. It's the cat who does something to indicate something to, to Quillerin about the mystery. It's not, it's not a big deal in the books. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's not like he's relying on this cat. He always solves mystery on his own and then is like, Somehow my cat knew all along. <laughs> so it just adds a fun little like quirkiness to the books. The characterization of the books is the characters are the most important part, whether it be Quillerin or the people that he meets. The characters are all eccentric and well detailed, highly developed the the books are they do follow Quillerin but like I said he he meets all these other people and it is told from the third person per point of view so it's got an omniscient narrator the uh, the storyline emphasizes the people in this quirky little town and you because once he moves to the small town and there's so many books and it's such a tiny town, you get to know several people in the town. So while they may not be main characters in the book, he goes to the same grocery store or the same cafe for picking up gossip. And so you get to see, you feel like you're actually a part of this town. You're like, oh, he's going to this place. That means he's going to be talking to this person. And so it's really fun because you, like I said, you just feel like you're part of this community. There's people who are in repeatedly in multiple, multiple books, even if they're not necessarily a part of the actual mystery. But that's the point of these books is to get to know these characters and these quirky little town and feel like you're actually a part of it. So the story has a really folksy feel to it. It's down to earth. It's episodic. You, even though every book has a, completely enclosed storyline the characters do progress over the course of the 
series and you get to know, like I said, the whole townsfolk of this town. The frame is this really detailed background of this super quirky little town and it affects the tone because like I said, it's all about these people that are in this town. These are really heartwarming books. The detail is really, it's very vivid. It's super lush. And if you are looking for hardcore mysteries, totally not the books for you. But if you imagine, if you will, Murder, She Wrote. It's basically the book version of Murder, She Wrote, where you get to know the people in this cute little town. You follow the author. You follow the main character, who is the writer, <laughs> along as he investigates the happenings in his little town. And that's that's basically how these books are. With, like I said, a fun little throw-in of the psychic cat trying to help him along. And, of course, he never gets it until the end of the book when he figures out what the dog, what, who the murderer was and what the cat was trying to tell him all along. The uh, audiobooks for these are narrated by George Goodell. And aside from Barbara Rosenblatt, who does the Amelia Peabody series, he is my favorite narrator. He does such an amazing job with the series. I have actually owned some of these hard copy and literally never read them because I tried to and was like, oh, I missed the narration. So highly, 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 highly recommend. Highly recommend. If you are in the greater Puget Sound area, King County Library System has all of them. I believe all of them, if not all or most of them are downloadable. So you don't even have to go into the library. So good. So good. He does such a great job. So highly recommend the audiobooks. Again, the first book is The Cat Who Could Read Backwards. Oh, right as it starts to darken. The Cat Who Could Read Backwards. And if you love it, there's 28 more to sink your teeth into. So you'll have plenty to read for quite a while. All right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, subscribe before you leave. And until next time, happy reading. What's going on here?